All right, what we're doing is this is animation, flash, lesson five. And what we're doing is we're taking a further layering or, or further, every time we go through one of these lessons, we add a little bit more. Our point behind what we're about to do now is we're about to take an image that's already been pre-generated and pre-edited for us, combine it with another image, and take a, so what you can do kind of as you think forward as we put the sailboat on here, and you'll see the sailboat, is you kind of think about, all right, I have this image of a real world picture. Then what I can do is I can manipulate a different image on top of that to add my animations, to add my motion paths, to change colors and things along these lines. And it makes you do some calisthenics, but just keep in general general mind or generally the idea that, okay, how do I expand this further beyond this lesson? I'm going to be using uh, a picture as my background. I'm going to be use a pre-generated uh, picture that I can manipulate to actually appear to move on the background itself. Right now it's not going to do anything, but that's kind of the direction where we're going. So the first thing I want to do is on Flash 3-32, start a new Flash document and save it as sailing.fla. I'm not going to worry about this, but this is using individual graphics. So I want to do, I want to do a file, I want to do an import, and I want to import to library because I remember I'm importing these items to the library itself. I'm going to use islandview.jpg, right? And then I notice I have it in my uh, library view. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my island view and I'm going to move it on to the stage. So I have it in my library. I'm going to move it where it occupies my stage and it looks super pretty. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose as it appears on number six. I want to do file, import, import to library, and I want to choose a sailboat. And the sailboat is an animation. And then I'm going to choose all .ai is an animation. I'm going to choose all the layers. I'm going to choose OK. And now I have sailboat animation. Uh, now let's see, it was creating Adobe Illustrator, it's made up of several layers, excuse me, AI is Adobe Illustrator, my bad. And then I want to take the, add a new layer to timeline, click frame one, and drag the sailboat icon. So what I'm doing is I want to insert, oh, I want to insert, I want to do timeline, I want to do layer, so now I've added, now I've already previously done this, so mine says layer three. And then I want to click on frame one, and I want to take my sailboat, which is this right here, and I'm going to move it right here. So my sailboat is rather large to start with. Now I'm going to do modify, break apart. So what I'm doing is I'm moving it away from being a symbol. Modify, break apart. Now, at, when it's that individual graphic, that's allowing me to modify things. Now I want to click my selection tool. Here's my selection tool. And then I want to click this left sail. Now I click it once. Oops. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go back to my scene. I want to click it. Ah, sorry about that. I'm having some difficulty here. Uh -huh. I'm going to go back to my scene. I'm going to click over here. And I'm going to click it. After a little calisthenics, I kind of find the difference here. If I click, notice when I have that little right angle right there, I guess in this case it's a left angle, and I click and I have an icon there. What I want to do is I want to move it around where I've got the four-pointed star, excuse me, the four-pointed arrow. When I do that, it should select the entire sail, which is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the sail right here, so a little bit of um, technical difficulties, but I got around it. So you have the sail selected. Then what you're going to do is you're going to change this to the rainbow fill pattern. So you, when you change that to rainbow fill pattern, I click on this and this is my rainbow fill pattern. And there's my fill pattern itself. And I want to click on this, make sure my marquee, oh, now I made a huge mistake just then and I forgot to lock down that layer. Notice when I did that, I grabbed the layer. That's why you come along in here, layer one, and you make sure it's locked. Don't do what I did. So, now I come along, I make sure my selection tool, I make sure my layer is selected, and I highlight the entire 
item. Then what I want to do is I want to change it. I want to modify. I want to convert to symbol. And I make sure it says graphic, not button or movie clip. And I'm going to change this to rainbow sale. Rain, rain, bow, sale. Now you'll note when I do this, I push OK. And now if I look in my library, there should be a rainbow sale. I've got one that's just a normal sailboat and one that's a rainbow sale. Now, when I have my rainbow sale selected, which is this one, I make sure to click on my properties. The width of the boat, I make sure this is select, this is not broken. The width of the boat should be 60. So now I'm set to 60. Now, I want to use my free transform, right? So I make sure my free transform tool is selected and I have that. And I want my rotate and skew. And I want to move it slightly to the left. Basically what's going on here is I'm moving it enough so it appears where it's flat on the water. Like that. That's what's going on there. So, and the width should be 60, which is correct. And I'm going to go ahead and test the movie itself. So, and I'm, I might move it around to where it looks it's more like on the water. And then I come along and I do... Uh, let's see, come on, where's my test movie? There's my test movie. Test movie in Flash Professional, and it just looks like a boat on the water. But the idea is if you take that further and you, you do some more application where this is concerned, we take this object, we start combining our buttons and our movement paths and our ability to kind of rotate and skew it, and ideally I could bring the, the ship in from off here, have it come around in here, flip around, come back this direction, and then sail out this way. I could add in, if I wanted to, I can add in some animations that represent like the disturbed water. And I can combine all this which, with a button up here that says watch it sail or something along those lines. So in each particular case, these, these seem like very canned um, examples and very canned things to work with, but the reality is, is you can take them a little bit farther and you want to think about how can I apply these things beyond the immediate. So in our case, what we worked with this going round, go around is simply importing graphics and graphics that were already pre-made. The difference between a bitmap image and a graphic, or excuse me, and a JPG and the amount of quality associated with these things and we can talk about them and there's some things to think about as we go along. All right, so thank you very much for your time. This, was, this concludes Chapter 3, Lesson 5. Move on to the project, and we'll discuss that. If you have questions, let me know.